everyone and welcome to the UK uh, channel and in today's video I will be reviewing a Logitech C920 HD webcam. Um, this webcam was given to me, uh, it was a gift from a good friend called Steve Allen. His channel is below, uh, check it out, it's pretty good. Uh, so in today's video I obviously will be reviewing the Logitech. Um, a few features of the webcam is it's full HD, I think you can downgrade it to 720 for video calls, um, so it reduces obviously, I don't know, a little bit of lag in the usage and whatever. Uh, it is, um, it's got autofocus, um, rich colours, it's quite vibrant, um, obviously right now I'm zoomed in and there's no blurry, blurriness at all. Um, and by the way, before I carry on, I don't review cameras so or all the technical language that you're probably wanting, this is not the video, I'm just going to be reviewing it, um, my own opinion of it. I'll try and um, come out with a few technical words, but if not, um, I hope you're back and bear with me and uh, carry on watching because I have used the camera, camera for a month now. I do stream, I do make YouTube videos uh, just for a hobby. As you can tell, I've got, I've got um, obviously not enough subscribers to do it for a little. It's just a hobby that I like doing. So uh, anyway, let's get on. I'll get on with the uh, review. Um, so right now, uh, this is as I mentioned before, it's zoomed in. So I'm going to open the controller, zoom it out, uh, show you the the whole pan of it. Uh, I think that's the word. And um, well, I think. A fly, I think I've just killed a fly. Oh. Anyway, that fly is famously dead. Okay. Um, let's get that um, camera software open. I think I've set it up. Let's see if it works. Yes, it works. Okay. So here's your controller. Um, you can use that on Skype as well, but I think Skype uh, doesn't allow you to go all the way with the zoom. Can you see that bar going up? Uh, but on OBS, if I turn um, this screen off, you'll you'll show me really zoomed in. So let's just give it a go. Hopefully it's not on my face. I'll try and get out of the way. Yeah, look at that. Look, at that. that's pretty pretty much zoomed in. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to see my face. That's not good. So we'll get we'll get straight back out again. Um, there we go. That's obviously um, how far it goes out. Uh, obviously we can't go right to left because that's that's the full. Um, pan of the uh, camera so you've got so it's quite a wide angle I mean my room is very small so you've got the door um, and my, my, my literally my room ends about you've got literally about 10 centimeters before I get to my window so it's pretty it's pretty impressive um, if, obviously if I zoom in you can actually go to the right or left um, well obviously it's all the way to the right so we can go left uh, I can go up or down it's uh, to your discretion okay but anyway, we'll sort it out to a sort of a streaming camera angle. Ah, probably about there. But anyway, um, obviously, as you can see in this video, I have it's not obviously the full screen because I think, I mean, it's a webcam. I mean, obviously, you can go full screen. It won't really um, reduce the quality of it that much, but um, it, is, it is possible if you're just Skyping. Um, it'd be fine. Perfect. Um, perfect quality. Obviously, like I said, 720, 1080. It's up to you what you want to go to, um, but obviously for streaming, that's quite a big camera I've got on right now. I don't think anyone will uh, keep the camera size that big on a stream, so it would be reduced, which will increase the quality. So it's, I think it's a really good webcam for people that can, that can afford it, or um, obviously YouTubers that are developed, or even if you're not developed, if you just like um, obviously good equipment, uh, it's a good sort of starting camera uh, if you can afford that. Um, so anyway, just. Um, a few other things as well and um, that I need to mention about the camera. Uh, it's just plug and play. Um, I think it took me about 10 minutes just to set up, so I'll plug it in. I downloaded the software, which as you can see on here, is uh, all here. Um, this is really good. Um, you can just open this um, even when you're streaming and just start it out. So this is excellent. You've got all your advanced settings in here. If it opens, there we go. Uh, if anyone knows anything, obviously, about cameras, we'll know all this. Uh, I'm not very technical with cameras, so I don't, can't tell you everything here, but it's all here to use. Uh, so you got your defi yeah, device info, webcam controller. Um, one thing I've I, I have used before is a follow my face. Um, I don't know how to actually activate it again. It was on Skype and it was just uh, zooming in, but I don't think it's an essential feature when you're streaming or use, using YouTube videos or even on Skype. If you've got multiple people on multiple people uh, on the call with you, so you've got your family or friends you sort of don't want it to follow each face but the feature is there if you need to use it um, obviously I've not looked into it, if I've looked into it that obviously 
we could get that working. Um, it's a few of a cool future, cool features. Sorry, um, I know we won't save that. Uh, there is an effects page, and that effects like marsh your face into like um, an alien, the sun, the moon, Mo Mona Lisa. I think I was on Skype first time I used it, and uh, it was a pretty cool uh, and pretty funny as well. Uh, I think I scared a few of my friends because um, I just didn't, it didn't even tell me I had a new webcam. I was just there. Uh, my eyeballs and my mouth in Mona Lisa, so it's pretty pretty funny. But obviously, you've seen them features before on laptops and stuff. Um, obviously, it says in use by OBS, so you can only use the camera once, which is just like any camera. So I wanted to say, quick capture. Obviously, it does it does um, capture pictures? Um, but I don't think no, it doesn't um, allow me to use it because it says the camera's already in use. So uh, if I just close that down, um, I'll just move this. Give me a second. There we go. It's just messed up everything, that's all. There we go. We're back in. You can see my desktop now, which is not very good. But anyway, let's carry on. Nevertheless, you've got uh, your motion detection, which is quite a, a, a cool deterrent. Um, I think if someone actually came into your room and you set it up, I think it does record some. Uh, I think it records sound and like a 30 second clip. But obviously, if someone was, if someone was taking all your uh, hardware and there. Uh, Taking everything, then it'd be pretty useless, wouldn't it? But I mean, it is a deterrent. I mean, I guess it. I think you probably could set it up so it made a noise. But it's just a pretty cool feature. You've got your video mask on there as well. Uh, that's a pretty cool feature if you know what to do with that. And obviously, we've got the controller. And I don't know what the get more apps means. I think that does mean um, apps to do with the camera. Um, so yeah, it's a short review. Probably not very comprehensive at all. But um, it's just my own experience of um, the camera. It's a really good camera. I'd recommend it if you can afford it. And that's about it. So make sure you do check out Can't Beef in the description below. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like rating if you want to, or even a dislike. And subscribe if you thought this video was quite useful. Okay, thank you for watching, and goodbye.